How would you feel if you wired $200,000 to the closing attorney for your down payment on your new house, later to find out that it never arrived, and worse yet, that it would never be found? Wire fraud is what we're talking about today, so stick around. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brian Taylor, and I'm the owner of Dreamline Realty in Charlotte, North Carolina. And on this channel, we provide educational content to help our home buyers make great home buying decisions. Today's topic is about wire fraud. What is it and how can you avoid being caught up in a scam that could cost you thousands of dollars? So imagine that you have spent months looking for a new house and you finally found the one. For you and your family, this house is perfect. and It's the only one that you've been dreaming about for a long time. You've gotten through inspections and your loan is approved and you're only a few days away from closing. And the total cash you need to bring to closing is $200,000. And then you get an email from the closing attorney or your real estate agent that tells you the wiring instructions have changed and you are now to send your wire to a different account than you were previously told. And this email looks legit. And it even has the company logo and the name of the person that you've been dealing with. So you proceed to take action as directed. And a couple of days later, you show up to the closing and the attorney tells you that they don't have your money. Now you anxiously get nervous and let them know that you followed their instructions and sent the money to the place that they told you to send it to. And you get that feeling in your stomach that something just isn't right. And after extensive research, it is determined that you were a victim of wire fraud and the money you sent went to someone else overseas in somebody else's bank account that will never be located and the money is long gone, never to be found or returned. Folks, this is real, and it's been happening all over the country for the last several years, and it's happened many times right here in the Charlotte area. So how does this happen? Well, scammers hack into email accounts of the parties that are involved in the real estate transaction, and they secretly follow along with all the details pertaining to the sensitive information, including wiring instructions, closing figures, and the contact information for the parties involved in the transaction. And these criminals are posing as attorneys with a very similar email address to send you fake wiring instructions to you. And these fake email addresses usually are only one or two characters different from the one that you have been used to seeing all along through the transaction. And because the emails are so well crafted, it's hard to know that they aren't from the person that you've been dealing with since you started your real estate transaction. And since they look so legit, buyers are taking action in following the instructions to wire funds to these bank accounts that most likely can't be traced. And once the money is sent, it's all but gone. So how do you protect yourself? First and foremost, understand that you will never, ever, ever, ever get an email from anyone at Dreamline Realty directing you to wire money anywhere. And even if you aren't dealing with us, your real estate agent should never be giving you wiring instructions. That is not our role in the real estate transaction. So if you were ever to receive something like that from your agent, that is a major red flag. Now, when it's time to wire the money to the closing attorney, it's best to pick up the phone and call the attorney's office directly and verify the wiring instructions over the phone with the representative from their office. And the closing attorneys encourage this as a best practice. And that way you know that you've received the correct wiring instructions and you've sent the money to the right place. But after you've wired the money, call the attorney back and make sure that the funds were actually received. That will provide you peace of mind before you arrive to closing. And always remember, if something sounds fishy, it probably is. I hope this video was helpful and to learn more about wire fraud and how to protect yourself, I've attached a link to an article in the description below. And since we're talking about closing, you may wanna check out this video where I answer the question, when will I get my keys after closing? And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified when new videos are released every week. And we'll see you next time. Make it a great day.